Okay, you want to learn VBA? I'll make it easy for you. Hi guys, my name is Sudhir and in this video we are going to learn about how many type of modules available in VBA. So let me make you understand what is module here. Module is nothing, it's just a set of instruction which can be stored into the workbook. So as we are going to discuss five type of module in this video, so let's discuss the first type of module. So what do you think it would be? That is general purpose module. What is general purpose module? It is nothing means whenever you are going to write a code or you are pressing Alt F11 in that case it will directly take you to the code or maybe you are recording in that case also it will create a module which is the general purpose module. So that is the most common area where most of the programmer used to write their code. Let me show you the example of general purpose module. Click on developer tab and go to visual basic. Once you are in VBA IDE, right click on Microsoft Excel object. Click on insert and select module. Now I will show you how to create a module by recording the macro. Go back to developer tab and click on record macro button. Select cell A1 and stop the macro recording. Go back to VBA ID. Now you will see module 2 has been created. You can create module manually and with the help of recording macro. These are the two ways to create general purpose module. The second type of module is workbook module. So basically workbook module is driven by the events of the workbook like opening and closing of the workbook. So let's have an example. After watching this video, you will definitely learn what is the difference between general purpose module and the workbook module. Go to VB editor and double click on this workbook or you can go to the object drop down and select workbook. By default value of the drop down is general. Right side of the object drop down you will find another drop down which contains the event list. You can choose any event from the list. I am taking sheet change event here. Write a simple message box code here. Let's run this. If you make any changes to the workbook, irrespectively, any sheet of the workbook message box will appear. Similarly, if you want to work on worksheet module, you just need to double click on to the worksheet and it will take you to the worksheet module window where you can write any code which is driven on the worksheet event like activating worksheet or maybe changing any value into the worksheet. You can write code onto that. Go back to VBA ID and like we have selected workbook in previous example. Now similarly, it's time to select worksheet. Choose any event from the drop down selection from event list. I am selecting change event here. Write a message box. Now go back to the sheet, check how our code is working. If you make any changes, typing, deleting, etc. in the sheet, anywhere will throw a message. Let's have a look how to use user form module in the BBA. Once you are in VBA IDE, Right click on Microsoft Excel object, 
click on the insert and user form. As you can see, user form is appeared on your screen. Now you can choose object from the toolbox which you can place to user form. I am going to place label, text box and command button here. I have renamed the label to the name. Button renamed to save. Right click on the button and click on view code option. I have written a code here. I have defined a string variable name as username. Now username is equal to the text box value. In the next statement, we are going to assign the username to cell A1 in the sheet. Let's run this. We have entered the name and clicked on save button. Now go to sheet 1. Yes, the code is successfully running. In this video, I will show you using class module. Once you are in VBID, right click on Microsoft Excel object, click on insert and class module. This is the body of the class module where you will write the code. From here you can rename it. Class is a very vast topic. I am going to prepare a separate video on classes versus module. Now I will show you how to copy the module from one workbook to another work. Once you are in VBA ID, right click onto the module and you can click to export. You can save it to your desired location. And whenever you want to import that particular module, you just need to open a new Excel. Go to the VBA ID. Right click on Excel object and say import. You can import the module from the desired location where you have stored the module. Now I am going to tell you how to delete the module from Excel. Once you are in VBA ID, right click on the module which you want to delete. Select remove module from the menu. You can choose no here if you want to delete it permanently. That's it for today's video. I would like to say thanks to everyone for liking and subscribing my channel. Please stay connected with me. Till the time.